Hello guys, on today's video we're gonna replace the fuel pump on Ford Explorer 1996 second generation. I will show you how to use the aftermarket fuel pump motor itself and we're gonna install it on the proper height to prevent your motor to stop. We're gonna use this uh, aftermarket oil pump motor STFP02 named SAT okay I'll show you what's inside inside we have some wiring it's really helpful motor itself and the filter filter with the with this washer and not to lose uh, not not to lose it inside our tank we gotta remove our fuel pump station and uh, replace. Okay, to begin, we gotta remove our seat, these covers, and put it 15 millimeters. Uh, to make it fast, we gotta use this tool. It saves plenty of time. Some say that you can do it like this, but it's really inconvenient to put the fuel station station there. So we gotta just remove the whole seat. We gotta do this like this. Simple and easy. There's a 15 millimeter bolt. very long screw so use this tool it saves you plenty of time and there is we gotta unscrew this it's like 18 millimeter or something maybe in inches next we gotta And then there's a hook. You see? You gotta put it up somehow to free free this hook. Yeah. So we removed our seat. Nice and easy. So guys, now we have a free access. Put a screwdriver here and look inside. I cut this uh, hole like a door. Uh, I will show you how I did it. Link in the description and uh, here on top right top corner of the video. So with this uh, latch, with this hole, it's really easy to uh, remove our fuel pump station and it's really crazy hard if you don't have this hole you gotta like uh, remove the whole gas tank and it's uh, not really easy so now we gotta remove our fuel pump station but first we gotta do one thing we gotta get down the car and disconnect this uh, wire to the fuel pump station you see this this right here under left wheel and the tank here guys I had to jack the car up a little and use this here you see this connector that is disconnected next we're gonna disconnect the fuel line and uh, we take this uh, fuel line remover like this take a screwdriver and uh, remove this like this and like this try not to 
lose it, put it here. So now, now we're gonna use this uh, remover and remove the fuel line. Can take some time because this uh, fast disconnective crap not so really fast. It can it can be a real pain in the ass. Hmm. Try to use the different one, little one, and try not to break it. And it ain't working like this. Crap. Try not to wear your wrist. Use the tools. Instead your hands. Maybe good idea will be to wiggle I like to press it to press it like this maybe this fuel line remover should be metal or something I really don't know but this this is really pain in the ass if you stuck somewhere in a field on a lonely road it will be the crap of you to remove this shit you see after half an hour I was able manage to break this shit you see you see gas leaking out you see this how this shit was tight now I will use this this little cable like to hold this fuel line up and this fuel line see how it's easy shit fuck sorry sorry guys it should be like this but it's leaked all the all the fuel fucking somewhere that it's not supposed to be see there's a little life hack on this side was crap like this but I got rid of it and I think I'm gonna get rid of this because of uh, this this little fucking tough little you see little tough to break it out so I just cut this uh, rubber ring put it here and it's uh, 
this thing it's holding it and the rubber ring is uh, enough to to prevent the leakage of the gas it works now I'm gonna do something like this in here but I don't think that the ring will be okay maybe I just cut it here and uh, put it uh, like uh, directly we'll see so what we do now we take this kind of key it ratchet 8 millimeters it's really useful uh, this only this key is really useful for this operation because it kind of bends and it uh, will help to get in the difficult difficult places you see in this place you can put the regular key but this works perfectly and it can be bent like this and so now we're gonna remove this our fuel pump station like this try to do it carefully not to harm to you see there's improvised uh, improvised part that I made like a reservoir for the gas and it don't work so now we're gonna do different way we're gonna do like uh, more uh, height here to to the bottom to the bottom uh, of the tank.